so quiet and nice in here, nice and warm today. Welcome to Outlaw Edge. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I got the quarters uh, mudded on this car. I, I dropped some uh, uh, Robert Lowe Maxi Fill right down the sides. And I got the welds already covered up uh, with filler too. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do now is uh, I can't work in the body shop because I got that 57 all painted in there. And uh, that one, as soon as it's, you know, next couple days when it's dry or whatever, I'll get a couple other things done to it and then pfft, it's out of here. I wanna get this one ready, body worked, which I don't like doing body work in this shop, <clears throat> in the fab shop. But what else? I'll get this thing done, uh, body worked. I'm not gonna primer in here. I'll take it over there to primer. So what I'll do is I'll make sure that uh, I have that car gone before I get this one over there to primer. Today is like the 14th of April, I guess it is, I don't know. And uh, what I wanna do is I wanna have everything done and gone by the end of the month. And the reason I wanna have it done and gone is I wanna work on Rogue. I got six months left on Rogue and I'd like to uh, get it finished up, get it done, get it gone, get it built, get it out of here. Um, and then the next car, the next car, the next car. Just been smashing stuff out, trying to get rid of some of this crap. And somebody's here. So the rest of the stuff I gotta do is, uh, there's a little bit of seam sealing that I missed in here. And then uh, I wanna get that stuff in there touched up, cleaned up, sprayed and whatever. And then, uh, you know, finish up the body work and whatever. And I'll kind of do that as I'm, I'll film as I'm doing that today. And then, like I said, I'll get this over to the body shop and get it in primer. Get it over there, get the wheels taped off and uh, the glass taped off and whatever, and then shoot some primer on it. Uh, put some high build primer on it, block it once or twice, and then just spray it in epoxy or sealer or whatever. Get it ready for the guy, you know? So we're not gonna paint it, so that's nice. You know, so that way we can get it the hell out of here and uh, one less thing to look at in the shop. It'd be perfect. So I got, um, I'm using the DA and just with, uh, I think it's a 40 grit or something like that. I can't remember, but knocking down the uh, filler, you know, instead of just doing a little patch here and a little patch here and a little patch there, I'm just doing the whole panel. And then, uh, and that's that Robert Lowe maxi fill. And then I'm just knocking it down. So it all gets sanded off on the floor. And then, I, and then now that I, I knock the high spots down or not the high spots, but the rough spots, then I'll go through and block the whole panel. And then when it gets to where it's, uh, you know, I'm happy with the, the feel of it, I'll uh, get, get the car in uh, high build primer so I can block it a couple more times. And, you know, and the stuff like this, I just hurry up and put the, that's, that's Robert Lowe Maxi Fuel. And this is uh, Metal Glaze. And this is just a little tiny crease in the door. And what I'm doing is uh, knocking this all off. There was a little dent right here. And you can't get in it from the outside because that, that brace on the inside of the car goes all the way back to here. So what I did, <clears throat> um, I put a, just mudded right over the side of it with the, with the metal glaze. And then uh, I'm just, I knocked it down so that it sands easy with the DA. And then now I'll block all this off. And when I'm done, there will be a little tiny spot right here somewhere where that little dent was. So you're using, you know, you're feathering, you know, from here all the way out to like right here with the with the sander so that you're not just, you know, you don't put a little tiny bit right here and then leave a high spot because you can't really feather that out. You got to feather from here to here to here to here. So a little tiny dent will be as big as your hand spread out like this when you're done. And it doesn't mean you're leaving the filler there. It just means that's how far you're sanding, you know, when you're going in angles, <clears throat> excuse me. And then, uh, I'm going to try to get this thing ready for primer though. So, I want to get all these spots like that taken care of. These ones I've already hit, and then you know I'll block them. This one's actually already done. It's been blocked, and it's just it was a really weird panel. That's where that that quarter panel is welded on the car from the factory, and then right here, that's lead. Right there is lead, and this is that really weird uh, seam that they have, and they put the quarter panel on right here too, and then this piece from here to here is on the for the trunk. <clears throat> uh, fix the gas door. There was that spot that I welded that piece in, so that's all putty. Just getting everything all ready, and then uh, I'll go ahead and keep sanding on the, uh, on the, you know, using the DA to knock everything down and then start block sanding. And like I said, I'll try to get it ready for uh, um, 
that show car finish uh, Monster Fill 500 is what I'll use on here. And I'll put like three real big fat wet coats on here and that should take care of everything after I block it. And then, you know, then the car will be ready for sealer and then paint. But uh, we're not painting the car, we're just getting it in primer.